Irish eyes were shining on Tuesday night at the Joe. It was Irish night at the stadium, sponsored by the Irish 2000 Music Festival. 4,452 eager fans jam-packed the Joe to watch the first game of a three-game set between the Tri-City Valley Cats and the single-A affiliate of the Philadelphia Phillies, the Williamsport Crosscutters. Irish folk band Hair of the Dog arrived at 5 o'clock and played till 6.40 amongst a vast amount of fans. There's a lot of Irish tradition and Irish American history here in the Capital District. And I think you can see it here tonight with the great turnout that they had so early, you know, to kind of come out and celebrate your Irish heritage. This is why Irish 2000 Music Festival President Matthew Nelligan decides to participate in the Irish Festival at the Joe. All we got to do is get a shamrock on a uniform, be perfect. It's a perfect night, perfect summer night. We're so happy to be partners with the Valley Cats and putting on another great cultural night. Hair of the dog, bagpipers, dancers, and great music, and great baseball. Great baseball indeed. The game started off tied 1-1, one to one, but in the bottom of the second, the Cats had a power outburst. The Cats drove in four runs in the second inning off the bat of Daniel Adamson, who cranked a solo shot, and Frank Almonte, who cranked a two-run dinger for his second home run of the year. The Cats added two more home runs off the bats of Mike Kwasnicka and New York Penn League All-Star Tyler Burnett, who crushed a shot down the right field line that cleared the visiting team bullpen. Burnett has now reached base safely in 36 games. On a stat note courtesy of stat machine Kevin Whitaker, the last time the Cats hit four more homers in a game was July 24, 2004, when the Valley Cats combined for six homers against the Oneonta Tigers. Valley Cats ace Carlos Cavedo pitched a gem, going six innings allowing only two runs with no walks. Cavedo has gone 62.2 innings pitched, only allowing three walks on the season, an impressive ratio of one walk every 20 innings pitch. It was all smiles for the Valley Cats. The Cats would use great hitting and great pitching and take the W, 8-3. On this night, the Valley Cats continued to have the luck of the Irish on their side. For Valley Cats Network, Elliot Travis.